Good afternoon world, day 71 of the Shargao Island lockdown. We are at the bridge to General Luna and things have changed here. We've come to do a laundry run, we've got Papa with us today, but the bridge is actually a different setup. They've gotten rid of the wooden barrier and now there's a metal barrier and there's somebody standing here, so we're going to see if we can go through. Masks on, uh, sweaty masks. <laughs> Papa made it through with the umbrella. They got rid of the wood. Looks like construction's come to a bit of a pause here at the moment. Yesterday when we were talking with Martin and Ave, they were saying this bridge has been in construction since 2011. So it's been a while. But construction has sped up now that quarantine's come on because the labour is 50% off. So they've got double the amount of people working on it apparently, but it doesn't look like it today. <laughs> Another thing I found out from Ave yesterday is that they and pretty much everyone they know is not having any problems getting quarantine passes for the entire period of time to travel around. We are the only barangay that is being super strict with the, you know, the issuance of passes. So we're all stuck in that village over there and even the next town along is getting passes to go to General Luna as they please. Getting into Dapa where the boats come in is a different story. I think because that is obviously where the main port is and if there was ever going to be any kind of virus entry it would come from there. So that's regulated a bit more. But for General Luna everyone's allowed in and out apart from us. <laughs> anyway it's only a couple more days until the quarantine's over supposedly and then we'll see how things are after that. Well done you made it. Any tricycles? One, but it's our man. Uh-oh, is he having a siesta? Only one tricycle today and there's no one here. So, what do you do? Do we wait for one? Wait for him to come back or? <laughs> <laughs> it's a long way to walk, isn't it? Yeah, too far. Yeah, I'm going to go in first. Okay, mm -hmm. so you can sit in there. We might not be oh. here though, so. <laughs> um, Here they come. Oh, Look at this, our hero. We have a saviour. Look who's come to collect us. This is Mike's story. Mike. Yeah? Are you looking forward to going in the black car? Yeah. Yeah? Wow. Hey! Hi. Our hero. Hi, <laughs> Thank you for the ride. Yes. Yeah, we, we've been left abandoned here. <laughs> So Story's made herself straight at home at Mike and Nelly's villa. Already got her eyes on the pool. Yeah. Story's already looking for wildlife. Yeah. <laughs> it doesn't matter whether she's on the beach or in the, in the forest. She's always looking for wildlife. Hi, Nelly. If you don't know me, I'm Mike and Nelly. This is our. Uh, lovely home here in Chagall while we're stranded and we finally got to meet you guys. Yeah! <laughs> so nice to have you over. Oh yeah, thanks for inviting us. Yeah, Story's course. really looking forward to going in the pool. She's it said is. it about five times already. Yes. Oh, you're going to love it. <laughs> I've got a nice bubble we can turn yes. on. It's really yes. cold. Oh, sweet like a jacuzzi. Oh, Alexa just turned on the bubbles for you, Story. Is that going to be a bit more fun? And she's in. Story's made it into the swimming pool. <laughs> Are you standing up fully? Standing up. No, I'm standing this is. Oh, right. Oh, okay. Story's like on the step. Yeah, oh, okay. Like, it's like a regional sit on. Nice, actually. It's like a Moroccan Medina. Yeah. Well, I was thinking this feels a bit like a Bali style villa with the rooms and the design. It's really, really lovely with these beautiful chairs. We've, of course. <laughs> not been to Bali but this is what I imagine the kind of properties there would be like I know a lot of the Bali style villas have the open kitchen and things like that so that's what it reminds me of it's nice a really lovely touch to have a little swimming pool private in your own villa uh, look at me yeah I we see are, you we are boxing. <laughs> three two one ah! <laughs> No fear. Rabbit, rabbit, I see a rabbit! <laughs> Alexa, turn on jacuzzi. Woohoo! <laughs> wow! <laughs> it worked! Wow! It's like the swimming pool's doing a big pop, isn't it? Woo! Yeah! Wow. 
whales, <laughs> really. The whales gonna blow you away. <laughs> Story, do you wanna try and do Alexa? Right, say Alexa, turn on jacuzzi. Alexa, turn on jacuzzi. <laughs> you turned on some jazz music instead. Let us try again. Turn on jacuzzi. Jacuzzi. Alexa, turn on jacuzzi. Did they do it right? I think so. Hang on. Alexa, turn on jacuzzi. <laughs> jacuzzi. Jacuzzi. That's right. Should we do it together? Yeah. Okay, three, two, one. Alexa. Alexa. Turn, Turn on, on jacuzzi. jacuzzi! Oh, it's working! We did it! So Mike and Nelly have just had to shoot out and sort yeah, out some I'm health coming. certificates for their journey back to Manila. I really, really feel for them in this situation what because we kind of know what it's like having a home somewhere else that you want to get back to but you can't. So they've had to do that now and they've kindly let us use the swimming pool and this lovely house. It's kind of strange to be here because we've seen their videos from this house and also when Martin and Ave were here, we watched their videos like cooking in this kitchen and now that like, Popeye's doing some washing over there, washing some, <laughs> washing some plates. It's like we're temporary residents in this property until we go and get some lunch in a minute. Still just enjoying some drawings, aren't you? Yeah, but it got outside. Oh, it went outside the lines, didn't it? Why? Oh, it's because you weren't being careful. <laughs> but where? They do have a rubber. <laughs> no, you can't rub out crayons, you know that. <laughs> here. I know, just colour over it with a different colour. As soon as they get back, we're going to go out and get some lunch in a nice little concept restaurant that they've found. But we won't be able to dine in. We're going to get takeaway. That's why the boxes are being cleaned up. That is a problem with an outdoor kitchen, isn't it? Just having ants in yeah. everything, having to deal with that. Yeah, just store everything away in jars. Yeah. Which I guess it's a nice thing though as well, isn't it? it it's, yeah, <laughs> I, I think it's like uh, the old way, isn't it? <laughs> oh, I see. You don't like the fact that they didn't have a head and a body, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> you need legs as well. You have to draw a leg and a neck. It keeps doing that. Alexa's playing some nice jazzy music for us at the moment, isn't she? But I, 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 I want her to say, turn on Humpty Dumpty's. <laughs> <laughs> okay, try it. Say, Alexa, turn on Humpty Dumpty music. Alexa, turn on the Humpty Dumpty music. Sorry, I didn't find the device near TV. <laughs> Turn on Humpty Dumpty music. Humpty Dumpty by Ronaldo Frank. Oh, <laughs> There you go, this is what you requested. You like it? Can you sing along? <laughs> oh, <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> this is actually a really good version of Humpty Dumpty. When I was just getting Story out of the swimming pool, she asked me for a bowl of cereal. And I'm not sure if the restaurant that we we're going to get something from has anything like that. But I do know that just down the road, about two minutes away, there's a place where we might be able to get something. Beautiful. Wow, look at these flowers. Beautiful. These have just started growing actually, because yeah. I don't remember these being here when we first arrived. Oh, mm. It reminds me of uh, Thailand. I've just been observing how quiet it is here in General Luna today. Much quieter than usual. <laughs> Completely forgot to take our masks with us, so we're going to go back and get them now. It's a very strange mindset to be in wearing masks, you know, out in the day and where we've been staying because we've just been in our little village. We don't wear a mask when we go out walking, so it's not natural for me to think to put one on. But I think if we'd been staying in General Luna the whole time, we probably would have been doing it more rigidly. Especially because a lot of the restaurants and shops are no mask, no entry. No, we need two masks, please. Oh, yours is over there. Mum just spotted this plant here with white leaves. What did you say that plant was called? Well, they call it the handkerchief plant. What, back in Burma? Yeah. I've always found that when I go for a walk with you, you introduce me to new flowers that I don't see when I don't walk myself. Well, that's what we used to call it, the handkerchief glass. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's nice. I think that when you're always driving around, you, all you can do is concentrate on the road, isn't yeah, it? True. So you don't get a chance to observe these things properly. Now, this is where the restaurant is. Well, this is the one where we're going to try and see if I can get some food for Story. We actually ate here before at the Greenhouse Cafe. It's really nice. So they've got a limited menu at the moment, much more than last time, but this is what I was looking for. It's like a kind of granola rice porridge thing. 
story will like it. And uh, I didn't bring enough a um, takeout containers with me, so Papa told me to bring more containers and I didn't bring them. <laughs> I wasn't so, sure, you just said just bring one. Yeah, All right, so you're gonna wait here then. Okay, luckily it's only down the road. Okay, I've got the containers. I mentioned before a while ago now that there's a single-use plastic span on this island which is really good because of that they are much more strict on you know bringing reusable containers with you making sure you've got your bamboo cup stuff like that see we own all of these things all these reusable things in Portugal but because it's not like a stricter thing we often forget to take it with us most of the time we were dining in in Portugal though so it didn't really matter but now with the whole restaurants being restricted to takeout thing it's become very very important to take your own packets with you all right just waiting for a chance to cross didn't take long wow looking good still he's going to enjoy that there we go takeout has been picked up so we've got three oh my wow granolas and one same same but different baguette for my mum Let's go back and eat them. I think Mike and Nelly are back now from their bureaucratic nightmares. <laughs> Look at this beautiful land. It's so neatly kept. There's nothing on it as well. There's no property at all. It goes all the way down to the sea. I bet that costs a bit of money to buy. We're back from our little mission. <laughs> Story, look, you asked for cereal. I got you some granola, okay? I did it. You did it. Story was refusing help to get into the hammock. <laughs> oh look, she's put her toy in. Are you gonna have a sleep? Oh. <laughs> yeah, I know, it hasn't quite fit, does it? Not quite adult size. Wow. Perfect. It's making a cool breeze coming now. Hey, are you enjoying the rain? <laughs> Story's like singing a rain song over there. <laughs> Slow motion. <laughs> oh, beautiful. You having fun? Uh, I've got camera jealousy. This is the camera I want to buy. So if you go over to Mike and Nelly's vlogs, see the footage. This is the camera I want to buy. Yeah. <laughs> oh, wow. Second swim of the day. This is luxury, isn't it, Story? Yay! <laughs> ah, what a place to relax. We've got a good setup here. <laughs> we're doing Nelly Turtle. All right, guys, we're just going to say goodbye to everybody. Yeah. Thank you so much for hosting us. Can I get a high five? Good girl. Yeah, that's better. Oh. <laughs> you did. Yes. Oh. Good girl. When when you do the leg jump. Oh yeah, that's uh, the leg jump. The Filipino game. Um, oh, they taught her as well. How does it work? You want to quickly show? Oh, that's, it. that's how it works. And then it gets higher, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Let's head home. Bye. It's time to cross the bridge. Oh, the dog is right behind me. <laughs> Looks really busy up here today. And we've got a bit of a sunset exit. Cross the bridge, back to the tuk-tuk, back home, give Story some dinner. Look at that. Look at that beautiful scene. There must be some, some wild animals in the jungle. jungle. <laughs> yeah, there normally is. Oh no, we've got muddy Charlie. I think we're okay, we're just beside the puddle. <laughs> Yeah, let's give him a quick Ooh, clean off. That was yeah. gross, wasn't it? We survived. We always get loads of people on the bridge at sunset here. It's cool. Now we go left to get back to the vehicle. Look at this sunset moment. This is the place to be in the evening. Everyone's having a whale of a time here. Whee! <laughs> Look at this peaceful scene. It's 
So if anybody out there doesn't know who Mike and Nelly are, they've been making YouTube videos here in the Philippines for a while now. And there's a lot of travel inspiration on there. I know some people questioned whether we would get island fever if we moved to the Philippines, but with so many thousands of islands to explore, you can really, really see from their channel why it's actually amazing, amazing opportunity to be in this place. So go over and check out their channel so you get an idea of some of the things that we saw before we decided we wanted to come and see Shargao even. And this is just one small island here. They've done some really fantastic local experiences as well. So I'll put a link to their channel in so you can see. And they're just like a really nice couple in general. We haven't met them properly until today. So I'm glad we got that opportunity. There goes the last rays of sun. Yeah, the laundry mission is complete. Got back over the bridge. Time to go home. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> he watches the vlogs. <laughs> Sasha is gonna make an order from the shawarma place while we head back, yeah? Yeah, I am. All right, so hopefully by the time we get back, it'll be halfway there. <laughs> okay, I'll get some of that hummus as well. Yes, okay. Want... Charlie's in the driving seat. All oh, right. Time to do the shout outs for the day. We are saying a big happy ninth birthday to Andre. Happy, happy birthday, birthday Andre. Andre. And this shout out came in from Mummy Evelyn, Daddy Ernest, Ate Angel, Ate Nana, and Kuya Ethan. Oh. We're also shouting out to all of your family. Now I hope I pronounced this right in Zamboanga City. <laughs> think looks, that's right? Looks right. <laughs> <laughs> the Tagusik family, who you haven't seen for 17 years. Wow, that wow. is a long time. It is. <laughs> <laughs> but happy birthday and hello everybody. Hi. Next up, I want to say hello to Sean Ayala, who just recently <laughs> celebrated their 14th birthday. Yeah. And that came from your mum and you're watching from Hong Kong. Sienna Groyan Sebastian of San Pablo City. You have just turned eight years old. Oh, big numbers. Wow, yeah, congratulations Sienna and hope you had a lovely day. And that request was sent to us by Tito Jojo. Next up, we're gonna do a shout out for Abby Forsto from San Leandro, California. Hi Abby. Hi. <laughs> Having your second baby. Congratulations. Yeah, and that congratulations came from your dad, Bo. Mickey Rose, happy belated birthday to you and a big hello. Hi. This came in from Alfonso from Cavite, but you are currently living in Birmingham, oh, in England. Big difference, eh? Yeah, it is a very big difference. <laughs> <laughs> and finally, we've got a shout out to John McMahon. An Australian firefighter in Townsville, North Queensland. Hello, John. Hi. And this came in from your wife. You are both wait impatiently to plan your next overseas trip mm. and we've now inspired you guys to visit the Philippines so I'm glad about that. Yeah, me too. <laughs> so I hope you guys all enjoyed today. If you want to see more inspirational content from the Philippines don't forget to watch Making It Happen vlogs with Nelly and Mike. I'll put a link in the description below. I'm so glad we got a chance to meet up with them today. They're a really lovely couple. Yeah, it was. I had a really nice time. Yeah. Still, we had so much fun. Yeah, <laughs> it nice, was really good. Yeah. Nice open conversations and just getting to know people properly. It's yeah. good. And we will see you in the next daily vlog. Bye. Bye.